Oh my god, I actually don't know how to get out. It also feels like I'm in a plastic coffin. I am staying in a capsule hotel for the next two days and I'm gonna vlog my experience. It's one of the cheapest capsule hotels I've come across. I think we worked out around like $10. So we shall see what it's like. It is 8 p.m. I have just landed in Malaysia. I've just come from the airport. It's dark outside, it's very loud. It's quite humid here. My Google Pixel has literally been the biggest help on this trip. Thank you, Google, for partnering with me. Do you have like a locker room? To see the, the luggage here, do we have somewhere we can put that? I think this luggage can go inside, but you can put it outside in the, your capsule. Ah. Uh. Turns out there was no lockers that fit my suitcase. Already off to a crack and start. Now that I was all checked in, it was time to go find my capsule. I come with a lot of baggage. Wait, is it this way? I actually don't know where I'm going right now. Oh, yeah, there it is. Level two. Nice. Oh, gosh. Update. There's no lockers. So I don't know where I'm going to keep my luggage. The lady said to just keep it outside the capsule. Oh, wow. Oh, well, oh, they're too small. So these are the lockers. I'm realizing maybe traveling with a lot of luggage and staying in a capsule hotel might not be ideal. I have a suitcase and I have a big backpack here. I think my this might fit in it. So hopefully I can access this locker and put my backpack in it because I'll get rid of some of the load. They provided me with this bag and inside is... Oh. The first thing I see is a mall. This is the tower that I got. Oh my god, what is that? What is that? Okay, so that's my towel. <laughs> we love that for me. I guess now we just make ourselves at home. It's time to get into the capsule. Let's go. There were 12 pods in a room. It honestly looked like I was on a spaceship. I feel like I'm in the future. That right there is my room. I have to climb up the steps to get there. How do I open it? Oh, no, I hear it. Oh. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Oh, my God. It was in this moment Taz realized, she didn't know how to open the door. Oh my god, I don't know how to open it. How do I open it? How do I get it out? How do I open it? Oh my god, I actually don't know how to get out. I had the biggest heart attack. Oh my god, I was so scared, I thought I was locked in me. Once I managed to safely let myself into the pod, I realized it was a lot more futuristic than I expected. Doesn't this look like I'm in a spaceship? Pretty cool though. Let me show you everything in this room because it's wild. There was a fire extinguisher. Let's hope I don't need to know how to use that. A small safe. Which I couldn't open. An adjustable reading light. Charging socket. Even with a USB port. Key card slot, a mirror, time and temperature all in the center console, a door lock button, sleep mode, a table, aircon, and even a headphone slot for your TV, all inside a tiny capsule for £10 a night. Not bad at all. A bargain if you ask me. At this point it was pretty late and I was starving. Luckily I had packed some ramen. How cool is this though? There is a table folded into the wall of the pod. I love practical things like this, especially when you're working with limited space. So functional. Now I have to go see if I can cook my ramen because I am so hungry. I can talk with my inside voice again. I am starving. I have not eaten properly today, so luckily I packed some ramen with me. But I don't have any cutlery, so I'm hoping there's cutlery in there. And there's a hot water machine, so I'm going to use that to make my ramen. Let's open this up and see if there's any cutlery in it. Um. Oh, yeah. Look what I found. Yes, let's make some ramen, shall we? Honestly, I was so impressed with myself that I did spill the 
the ramen in the pot because I was so sure that was going to happen. I got dinner. I was still new to the space, so I wasn't comfortable eating in the public corridor. But there was actually something really comforting about eating in my own private pod. It was like my little safe space. Initial thoughts. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of burn. It's really cool. I really like it. But it also feels like I'm in a plastic coffin. It's like futuristic, but also old. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to get the TV to work. I don't get it. There seemed to be a lot of shows, but I couldn't click on any of them. And eventually, this error message will pop up. It just didn't work. The TV still isn't working. I'm gonna try and figure out what this says. I'm gonna try translating. Okay, so it's in Chinese. That's probably why I can't understand it. You are using the free test version, V2. 12 point me to register. Wait, how to register it? No one told me. I am gonna give the TV one last attempt. Oh no, maybe I'm not, because it's saying X. See, I don't know what this means. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna translate again, aren't I? I tried, guys, I really did, but I don't think this TV situation is gonna happen. I've literally only been in here for a couple of hours and already it's a mess. A definite downside to living in a capsule is a lack of space and lack of storage. There's nowhere to put anything. Just stuff everywhere. I think I'm gonna have to put some things in the locker just to give me some room. I have like a charging station here, typical YouTuber thing. I feel a lot more settled now. This is like my little home for the next two days. And um, you know, it feels quite cute. I kind of feel like one part of me feels really like nervous and anxious because I'm by myself in this box with a bunch of strangers I don't know in another country so it's massively out of my comfort zone but on another aspect it's quite nice that I'm not on my own I think I'd be more freaked out if I was on my own let's go put this in the locker change and go to sleep So that's not creepy. There's a flashing light, loud noises everywhere. It's giving me spooky vibes. Nice. I'm just gonna pop this in here. I'm too scared to shower in the nighttime. I don't know, it just feels like a horror movie right now. It's been a long day of traveling. I'm so tired. But I've eaten, I'm gonna brush my teeth, and then I'm gonna go to bed. I've eaten, brush my teeth, packed up all my things and it was now time to go to bed. I'm not gonna lie to you, the bedding situation is a bit questionable. It just smells a bit funky in here. So that's fun. I'm so tired and exhausted from traveling that I'm just gonna have to make this work for me. I might sleep in my hoodie. I've already accepted the fact that I'm probably not gonna sleep well tonight. It's time to turn the lights off. That was my first night. Very capsule hotel. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I've got my toiletries. Let's go and freshen up. Oh. Okay. Got your really nice um, facilities here. You are looking so cute, girl. I feel like if I keep telling myself that, I might just believe it. Oof. My friend and her mum kindly dropped off some breakfast. It all looked so good, but I had no idea what any of it was. There's this, and it looks really cool. There's green rice. I'm basically gonna use a Google lens and hopefully it will tell me what this is. So this is nasi lemak. Next mystery item on the breakfast list. It's green and it's like rolls and I have no idea what's in it. Sweet coconut filling, pandan crepes. Oh, it's pandan. It's pandan with coconut filling. That's coconut in there. The coconut is really good, the coconut is really good. And the types of squidgy. Pandan doesn't really taste like much to me, but it's good. I'm eating local stuff. I would never have known to order this in the store. I probably would have just got like toast. Oh yeah, this is a good stuff. Oh, let's put the sauce on it. This is the sambal sauce. Mmm, that sauce is so good. Oh my God, that sauce is so good. That is so, so good. That sauce 
I cannot explain to you how good that sauce is. I'm not like addicted to many things, but I'm addicted to chili sauce. I love hot stuff and I'm like in pain, but like good pain. I'm in heaven right now. Thank you, Wendy. You're the best. I appreciate the breakfast so much. All right. Let's get my clothes. Let's have a shower and let's get changed. I'm gonna ask them if I can change the towel. The one they gave me is not new. I don't like it. Success! I got a new towel. This one's a lot nicer. And now it's time to check out the showers. <laughs> There's no door. This right here where I'm standing is a communal area. Me and anyone can go and go. And the only thing with privacy is this flimsy curtain. So all someone has to do is this, and I am exposed to the world. As soon as I hear any noise of anyone coming in, my body is going to go into fight or flight. So we let that bore me. This is about to be the quickest shower of my life. This is here in shower shampoo. Oh, this one's fun. This is also here in shower shampoo. There's no gap. There's no gap. OK. I'm so clean. So fresh and so clean. That wasn't so bad. Maybe I was being a tad bit over dramatic. Time to dry. Oh. I think I'm just gonna head out and explore the area. Then I'm gonna come back, sleep, and that's the end of my stay here. Then I got ready to head out for the day. I went to a mall to do some shopping and explore the city. The buildings here are huge. I am now back from my day out, feeling quite tired. I ended up getting Birkenstocks because my feet were killing me because I've been walking so much. I did like 23,000 steps the other day. And I also got a Roti Boy. I've been eating this a lot during my trip. It's this really soft coffee flavored bun and it's got like butter inside it, like a slab of butter inside it. And it is so good. Anytime I see it, I just, I buy it basically. This one might be the best one yet. I am so tired. I am completely knocked out, ready to go to bed. So let's get ready for bed. I'm gonna try and see if I can get changed in the capsule. I feel like there's enough room here. We shall see how this goes. Okay, I did the space test. Spacious. This has been such a different experience to the first time I tried it. The one I did in the UK didn't have a door. It had a curtain rail. Which at least meant I couldn't get stuck in it. Oh my god, I actually don't know how to get out. This one has a lot more privacy and a lot more cool features. But overall, it's been like super fun. I would recommend everyone to try it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you once. Please know that you matter and I shall see you guys next time. Thanks for time for me to go. <laughs> like I die, Pete. Like I'm last week night with the